We've been through a lot together. But I didn't break you out of jail so you could go on a crime spree. I have changed. I, I'm really not the same person that I was. With all due respect, Sheila, you shot your son and your daughter-in-law, and then you killed his adopted mom. I don't think you changed that much. Sheila is trying so desperately to convince herself that she is a changed person. I'm glad Mike laid it out to her plain. You're doing the same stuff that you always did. You're still killing people. You're still injuring people. It's the same stuff over and over again. But we did find out some interesting tidbits about Lee today and about Steffi and Finn. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Bold and the Beautiful review. Today we get some drama with Sheila, Finn, and Mike. We do get the conclusion to the wedding drama, but I don't know if it ended how I thought it was going to end. And we also have Zenday approaching Paris again. And Hope served as the one to kind of wrap everything up as she was telling Leon what happened. Let's get into it. I didn't mean to hurt her. I swear that I I need her. Finn needs her. Well, she ain't coming back. Finn? 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 Oh. Finn? Oh my God, oh no. Oh no, he's flat lady. No, Finn? No, Finn. Oh my God, I killed him again. He's dying. <laughs> So Sheila asked Mike for his help with keeping Finn alive. She wants him to go to the jail and steal meds from the infirmary. He wants to know where Lee is because he heard that she was some big time doctor. Sheila does admit that she puts it as Lee had an accident after she found out that she was trying to turn her in and that she never meant to hurt Lee. Now, from what we saw of that crash, it looked like Sheila rammed her in the back before the crash, and then she stood over the edge smirking and watching her car go down. So I don't think that that's, I didn't mean to hurt her. But Sheila goes on to justify like she always does. If Lee had not turned on me, I would not have had to harm her. It's the same old, same old with Sheila. She even went as far as telling Mike that she's not a monster, she's not a sociopath, when clearly she is. But while they are arguing, Finn starts to show the distress and he actually starts to flatline. And of course, that was our cliffhanger for today. Now, before this happened, what they were actually talking about, when he, when he went into distress, they were talking about Lee and Sheila wants to know if the body had been found and Mike says no. There has not been anything on TV, no mention at the police station about her. So that does lead me to believe lead me to believe that she made it out and she will be back on the scene. Another reason why I think that Lee could possibly still be alive is because one of the cast photos that they uh, sent out from when they were celebrating John McCook's Emmy win had Naomi, who plays Lee in it, she was on set for the celebration, along with the person who plays Detective Sanchez. Now, she could have just been on set to celebrate John, but I have a feeling that she's still filming, and they put that out there as a teaser to get us talking. What are your thoughts? Drop them in the comments and let me know. You must have stopped my wedding. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> can I? I don't think Paris is feeling what we are. I should talk to her. Mm -hmm. I'll be waiting right here. I like the sound of that. I'm sorry, did Carter say, I don't think Paris is feeling what we are? Uh, no, Carter, she got left at the altar. Now I will say she seems sad, but she was more than happy to accept Zenday's advances when he came to see her afterwards, and we will get into that. But as you can see, Carter and Quinn are very happy to finally be together. I did watch an interview that Lawrence um, did with TV Insider, I think, and he was saying that the character Carter 
feels like he's always been at the short end of the stick. He's always been the one pursuing and he always gets turned down. He says, even going back to Maya, he pursued her, but she didn't want any parts of it. So for Quinn to have gone through all of that, to chase him down, to let him know that she loves him, he was struck kind of dumbfounded and it was everything that he wanted. So that kind of explains why he just stood there and said nothing during the ceremony. But I will say this is a little anticlimactic for me. I was expecting to see the blow up aftermath of all the guests there. That was a missed opportunity. That could have been such a great scene. But we just get, I mean, it was great to see Quinn and Carter there uh, being happy and in love. But I wanted the drama. And we did get a little slap from Grace, which we'll go over next. But that wasn't even, it was eh. Be with her. And he was ashamed. He should be ashamed for breaking your heart this way. And now you see the kind of man Carter really is. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. I realize I'm the last person you want to see right now. felt that that reaction was a little weak for the situation that they just went through with him leaving her daughter at the altar. But I will give her props for doing her little Southern Belle, swinging her dress around and sitting down all dignified. But Carter apologized to Paris. She didn't really say much while he was there. Her mom did a little bit of talking, but pretty much she apologized to her and told her that he knows that she will find the one for her. It's not him. He didn't say that, but that was the undertones. And then that was pretty much it. That scene was done. Then Zende appears like the knight in shining armor. He offers to give Paris a ride home, tells her that Carter missed out on the best thing that ever happened to him. She's blushing and smiling the whole time Zende is talking. Um, and when he offers to give her the ride home, she's like, even after everything that I did to you, you still want to talk to me? He's like, yes. So I really feel like he's going to get hurt by jumping right back in with Paris. Cause I feel like she wants to prove a point and she's still going to try to make a play for Carter, but we shall see. Is it just me or does Paris look really young in this shot? Like really she's too young for Carter or for Zende. And why do they have her wearing a corsage to her wedding? Like she's going to a prom or something. So we also had Hope telling Liam about all the drama from the wedding, but they also discussed Steffi and Finn and how they're happy that Steffi is out of town so the kids don't have to be around with all the Sheila drama. But the interesting thing is they said that Steffi's in Monte Carlo and that it's bittersweet because she and Finn always wanted to go there together. Now, some of the cast members were recently in Monte Carlo for a festival and they did film scenes. So we're assuming that the reunion of Steffi and Finn was filmed over there. So we're going to get some pretty epic scenes of the two of them reuniting. Thanks for watching. Please like the video, share and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Please like the video, share and subscribe, 